All right, here now to react is Governor Mike Huckabee, former 2016 presidential candidate, Fox News contributor. All right, Gov, did Pelosi change or did the modern Dems change her? Laura, let me just tell you something. I nearly lost it when you said that Biden and Pelosi look like clients of visiting angels. That's got to be the funniest line I've heard in several months. Well, good. Uh, oh. Absolutely fantastic. And, and the answer is I do think Nancy Pelosi is struggling to try to uh, maintain some order. I mean, she's trying to herd green flies, and I use that term deliberately. Uh, th this is a real tough spot for her. But here's the thing that I love about what the president has done this week. He is not allowing her to go out there, call him a criminal, saying he's committing crimes by covering things up, and then walk over to his house and look him in the eye and pretend that she wants to do some legislation. And he's calling her out. He's not playing this ridiculous D.C. semantics game of saying the gentle lady from California because there's nothing gentle about the lady from California. Well, Governor, here's a historian, Doug Brinkley, elevating San Fran Grand Nan on a throne. Let's watch. She's now a historic speaker. I mean, this may be seen as the Pelosi age in the Democratic Party. She is the glue keeping the whole yeah. Washington uh, scene together. <laughs> the Lola Pelosi. Yeah, I think, what, <laughs> what is this? I, I think the glue has lost its sticky. There's something going on. I mean, the Democrats have nothing right now. The Mueller report totally left them hanging. And so now they're like a bunch of kids who are still looking for Easter eggs on the 4th of July. They just won't let this go. And it's making them look more and more ridiculous. There was, in fact, a conspiracy, a cover-up, and an attempted coup. But it wasn't conducted by President Trump or candidate Trump. It was conducted by the highest levels of the U.S. government when Barack Obama was president and when you had names like Brennan and Clapper and uh, McCabe and Comey and Strzok and Page and Orr, uh, who were leading all these institutions. Well, they're worried about this declassification, Governor, clearly. These documents are going to be declassified. We'll see a lot more about the origins of this investigation, but with Papadopoulos and, and Mifsud and all the characters, this is going to be like a James Patterson novel by the time it's all over. Well, I, they need to be worried because uh, I think uh, what they found in Attorney General Barr is a no-nonsense uh, law guy. He believes in the rule of law. He believes it ought to apply to everybody, including the president. Uh, but the best attempt after $35 million, 19 investigators, 500 witnesses, was that they couldn't find anything that would make Donald Trump uh, be criminally liable or even uh, in any way liable. And so now they're just reduced to howling at the moon. And that's what they have been reduced to. It, it's frankly, no. it's a little embarrassing for them. And meanwhile, we have really important crises facing the country at the border. We need this USMCA passed. Trump said today, Nancy doesn't even understand the USMCA. She needs to get up to snuff, learn the learn what the uh, the new trade deal would do for the country. But she's not interested in that. They, they're interested in obstructing, resisting, and appealing to the AOC base of the Democrat Party. Uh, but she. You see her struggling. It's like an internal struggle for uh, re relevance, you know, m memory. I don't know. It's like a combination of a lot of things. I, I'm not a psychologist. I can't unpack it. But the intervention needs to go the other way. Governor, great to see you, as always, tonight. Thanks so much. You bet. I'm going to call visiting angels and tell them to get over to our house right away at your recommendation. <laughs> Thank you very much.